What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel and podcast. If you have not subscribed, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're on the podcast platforms. And while you're at it, go ahead and leave a five-star review. I'd really appreciate it. And if you are on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to go ahead and brighten up the place. Let's get into this conversation slash reality chat. If you watched Real Housewives of New York over the years, you know that Bethany Frankel, who is one of the most successful alums of the Real Housewives franchises ever, let's just be honest, is very vocal. She's very, very vocal. And she has done very, very well being on the show, but she got her fame from being on the show. People come and people go. People make what they can make out of the situation. And she definitely made a huge, huge bag, okay, out of that situation by launching her Skinny Girl brand and just the other things that she's done. I've seen her speak at a conference some years ago. As a matter of fact, I believe I saw her at a Grant Cardone conference in 2019. And it was cool, you know, to see um, her speak there. And, it, you know, it was what it was. She's definitely successful at business, and you can't take that away from her. But it's being reported that she is launching a new podcast called Rewives. And so Andy Cohen, he's definitely confused by the situation. So he's speaking about it right now. So... After being asked why he was surprised to hear about the new podcast on his Sirius XM radio Andy show, he said that he was confused as to why she spent so many years trashing the, quote, toxic Real Housewives of New York City franchise only to revisit an experience she no longer wants to be any part of. He says, I was surprised at that because she's been trashing the show for the last three years. You know, she's been talking about that it's toxic and it's this and every bad thing you can think of. And now she's doing a Housewives recap podcast. Andy went on to seemingly agree with his co-host that Bethany hasn't been on his radar for a while and he only sees her negative quotes about the show when they make headlines, which I can understand because, yeah, if things that she says makes the headlines, then he's going to see it. And I, and I get that. He says, you know, I guess I see her quotes, especially when they are negative about the show. And so to hear that she's going to be doing this podcast and she's pretty much like recapping the Real Housewives, I, you know, hey, do what you do, do what you like to do and, and have fun while you're doing it. And I'm sure she's going to make even more money doing that, which she you know, I'm not saying she doesn't need it, but she really doesn't need it. But I mean, does she have to turn it down? No, she doesn't. So to hear that she's doing this, she has defended her show. But some of the former co-stars, they had spoken out against her podcast before. Luann, she called it pathetic. Carol Radzewell says that she built her brand by trashing other women. But Bethany, she's saying that she exited from Real Housewives of New York because she wasn't proud of it. And she says it's her story to tell. So she says, for those of you who don't understand why I did it, because I get that I walked away. I didn't want to be a part of it. It wasn't what I thought I should be doing at my life. And I wasn't proud of it. This is my perspective, my story, my show, my experience versus a situation where we didn't control the editing and we didn't control the process and we didn't control who we surrounded ourselves with and the trips we went on, we weren't in charge. So I I get that. But, you know, I'm just going to speak from the perspective of an employer, Because Andy is, in essence, the employer of the Real Housewives franchises, right? We know he he hosts the Watch What Happens Live, as well as the reunions for the, the shows. 
What gets me about people like Bethany, and I'm saying this from the perspective of an employer because I am an employer. I'm not Andy. (laughs) I don't have a big business like the Real Housewives franchise, but I do have businesses, business locations, and I do have employees. And people with that type of mentality that Bethany has, it's like when you are so ungrateful it puts a bad taste in my mouth for one and my opinion of her probably does not mean anything at all I'm quite sure it doesn't but I'm speaking about people like that where she was a virtual unknown before she got on the Real Housewives of New York right how many of you knew anything about Bethany before she was on that show and she was on there for a lot of seasons she met her now ex-husband on um, being on that show. She had a child with him. They got divorced. She had a spinoff. She did all of these different things. She left. She came back. She blew up because she was on The Real Housewives of New York. And to be so ungrateful about it, I get it. Most people are not going to say they loved every single thing and every single bit of their previous jobs or maybe even their current jobs. But If you were being able to grow and being blessed because of the opportunity, it's not a good look to trash what you came from. And I know from my experience where I have had former employees that would be so grateful for the opportunity, they made more money than they ever did working in my business. And then when things happened and they decided to either get a big head and leave or they allowed somebody to plant seeds, you know, in their, in their minds to make them feel like they didn't need this and they could do this on their own or whatever. And then they leave and then they want to not only just leave, but steal from me in order to create what they try to create. They always want to leave in a negative way and trash what they left. And that is not cool. Now, I'm not trying to make my experience Andy's and Andy's experience mine or even former employees of mine's Uh, Bethany's experience and vice versa. But I'm just saying from the perspective of the the way she's doing things and now she's creating a podcast where she's going to be talking about the Real Housewives. It's like, you needed this. You needed this. This is what got you to where you are. And And in order for the relevancy to still be there, she has to, in some way, still connect herself to it. That's what it's giving to me. That's what I'm getting from it. Again, these are just my thoughts and views. You can let me know yours in the comment section. I admire Bethany's work ethic and her business ventures and how she grew and did what she did. And she's like, that. that's a huge blessing. A lot of people don't get an opportunity like that. So to say all of that, and then know that she just really is ungrateful and and how she just pretty much trashed the Real Housewives franchise and now she's going to be profiting off of it by creating a podcast where she's going to be talking about it and she's connecting it to the Real Housewives by calling it Rewives. It's, it, it just looks, mm, I don't even really know the word that I want to use for it because I thought about using the word desperate. She's apparently not desperate. I mean, she's, de- she's not in desperate need of money. I get that. Um, But, you know, we know that there are a number of people that are doing that who were on the Real Housewives franchises before where they've created podcasts where they're either talking about the show or they're interviewing people who were on the show. You've got Carlos King, who used to be um, one of the producers on the Real Housewives franchise, even though he's got his own things going on over on the own network. He's doing interviews with women who used to be or currently are on one of the Real Housewives franchises. Okay, fine. His choice to do that and he can do it. You've got Tamara Judge and Teddy Mellencamp. You had Heather DeBro. I mean, she's back on the Real Housewives now, but she started doing it after she left. They all know that they need the show for the relevancy and it's like fame is a drug. They get addicted to it and they really, even if they have the money, like Heather DeBro, <laughs> okay, Bethany Frankel, They don't need the money, but they need that attention. They need that fame. They've already got that that sniff or that snort or that injection of that fame drug, and they can't let it go. They cannot let it go. 
So I just wanted to talk about that, guys. You can let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Do you agree with Andy Cohen about Bethany in terms of her creating a podcast talking about the housewives? I mean, he can't stop her. Apparently, that wasn't in the contract. Maybe it's something he needs to think about (laughs) putting in the contracts moving forward if he wants to prevent these housewives from venturing off or if they got fired or they quit the show or whatever venturing off and doing commentary talking about the housewives maybe that's something they might need to think about um doing so we shall see what comes of this let me know your thoughts in the comment section guys thank you so much for liking and subscribing and until the next time this is beth and i'm just being beautifully honest